Hey guys, it's we RoadRoo.com. Your afternoon, Horn of Z's. Chaga Chaga. Yes, I was gone for a little bit. Um, had an anniversary, but also had to get some people in the right place at the right time. Um, make sure you take care of your family through all this. Uh, very important, extremely important, the most important thing. So that's what I was doing. Anyway, uh, I haven't even looked at anything in a couple days, so let's take a look. As expected, they're driving the prices of gold and zero. They can click of a mouse, they can drive it to zero. Uh, I hear you can't get any silver at all anymore. And if people are quoting you a wait time, that's a, that's a hope and a prayer. Uh, I don't know. Nobody knows. So wait times are sketchy at best. Um, as far as gold, you could probably find some, but uh, you know, I, who wants to buy gold, right? Over 100 to 1, way over 100 to 1, historical numbers here. Uh, that's Steve Mnuchin throwing a little hissy fit because uh, the the rest of the world is not going to let him rig the stock market as high as he wants. So that's where we are. Um, completely fake, completely phony, but we all knew that. You know, $20 silver is completely fake and phony too. So is $100 silver. We don't know the fair market value price of silver or gold or anything. It's been rigged since Alan Greenspan invented the first computer programs back in the 1960s and 70s to create the financial system. Yes, he created the electronic financial system, programmed in two uh, digits for the date instead of four. <clears throat> and voila, it's been under the control of the United States ever since. Uh, we are in the process of the end game. So hang on tight. Assets in your own possession only. The stock market will go to zero at some point as well. Why? Mainly because they need to get out of it. The criminals who have rehypothecated everything and need bailouts now, by the way, um, have lost control. So they're going to come to the Fed and to the Treasury for bailouts. Um, will they give bailouts? I wouldn't. How many? How much do you need? So that's the thing about uh, bailouts is uh, all the losses are, are nationalized where the gains are privatized. It's complete fraud. And um, the key thing right now is to remember who we are in the United States of America. Um, if, if you see a criminal, arrest him. If you see criminal activity, make sure your congresspeople and your elected officials know that they are the ones doing it. They are ones facilitating this problem. Uh, the, the unbacked fiat monetary system as rigged by the Exchange Stabilization Fund, the banksters, the Federal Reserve, and the Treasury are the reason everybody's going to lose everything. And that's the only people to blame. So blame away. Steve Mnuchin just happens to be the head. He was the head of market rigging at Goldman Sachs, too. Of course, he was knee-deep in it. Um, Yes, Alan Greenspan's absolutely to blame. Um, it's, his, it's his fault. We went on from 1971 until today with an unbacked fiat system because normally those systems crash and burn in eight to ten years unless the artificial manipulation was there, which was uh, made possible by the programs that Greenspan wrote, uh, and all markets are under the computer program. They can click a mouse and put silver to zero and shut down the market. They can click a mouse and put the stock market to zero, oil to zero. They can put anything to zero and shut down the market. The problem is the whole system altogether. Um, so if you're smart, you get your assets in your own possession. No third party holding it. Obviously, now with the self-directed IRAs, you people are loving life because you're holding your assets. Those people who have metal or uh, cryptos in a traditional IRA where somebody else holds it, you're screwed. You'll lose it. And uh, when this all falls apart, you'll understand why. So yes, uh, silver price completely rigged. Crypto prices completely rigged. Need we say more? Uh, look at the volume. Litecoin, $3.2 billion traded in the last 24 hours. How much Litecoin has ever been mined? $2.1 billion. Welcome to the phony world of pricing cryptos, pricing silver, Pricing the stock market. I haven't even looked at Zero Hedge. I'm going to go right to Zero Hedge and just go down. And yeah, I haven't even looked at this in two days. I've been out of touch. So 
I can guarantee you it's chaos. What This is what one, $12 trillion margin call looks like. Yes, all markets are in chaos because of the underlying basis of a fraudulent system. That's the only reason. If it was a freely traded market, yes, even, even this craziness with the coronavirus could be, um, you can ride that out. But in a manipulated market where everybody's levered 10 to 1, 20 to 1, 50 to 1, 100 to 1 with crazy derivatives trying to cover their ass, no, none of it survives. And that's what's going on right now. Uh, coronaviruses in Europe surpassed China's total. Uh, China stopped reporting a long time ago. The total is probably in the, probably about a billion people have it now. Uh, I don't know how many people have died, but a large portion. Remember, they were the first, and they completely shut off all media information. Um, anybody thinking this stock market's going to come back uh, once the coronavirus issues are, are dealt with so that we're under the, the, the amount that our Healthcare system can handle your dream and dreams. Then not a chance. China's China makes everything for us. Game is over. It's just a matter of when Steve Mnuchin is going to stop rigging the markets, and that will that will happen when the markets cease up, uh, which is coming up. So hang on tight. S and P tumbles below 2018 lows. Dow red since Trump inauguration. Again, Steve Mnuchin is clicking that mouse and nothing's happening. Why? Without China, everything stops because they were man, they were the manufacturers for the world. Everything is worth zero. I hope you have your assets out of the banks, obviously. Can you imagine bank earnings if they report earnings? I don't think they will. Uh, I did hear that they uh, delayed tax payments from April 15th. There'll never be another tax payment. The system, the banks can't last for 90 days. I think it's a 90-day delay. You'll have no money in the bank to make a tax payment. The banks aren't going to last this first quarter. First quarter ends in two weeks. And they are done. Leverage lenders, when all the same assets are being sold, they're done. In, they were done a month ago. So don't expect anything to turn around. I, by the way, I did a, uh, a Q&A for Twitter people. Uh, yesterday, but I couldn't post it, so I'll post that later today if I figure out how to download that uh, off my camera. <laughs> I, was, I was struggling with it. Big three Detroit automakers shutter all domestic manufacturing. Remember, this is the end game. This is the end of the road to Ruta. The destruction of the old system and a rebirth of something new. We don't quite know what it is. In Cliff Eye's data, it's three times the U.S. tries to restart the monetary system, and all three times fail. And then it goes to a crypto potentially a little gold, potentially a little silver, although I think silver is going to be more necessary in the industrial aspects of uh, the high-tech future. Um, but if you're looking to buy gold or silver, silver massively. The Road to Ruta theory, the Road to Ruta documents, everything points to silver being the bank killer ultimately. So a moonshot, six, seven, eight hundred dollars silver uh, is in the works in the short term. So just hang on to your physical uh, no, none of the comics won't be open when that happens. So the, you you won't see it. You won't see the price. You just you'll you'll feel like right now you want to buy silver. You just can't find any. <clears throat> Nobody's willing to get rid of their silver in anything. Many people know this is the the last gasp of the banking cabal. And remember, who's up under RICO charges? J.P. Morgan and six gold and silver traders from J.P. Morgan. Do you think they knew what was about to happen? And we're in the middle of it. Uh, Delta March revenue to crash by $2 billion. April will be even worse. Unveils massive pay cuts. After blowing $4.5 trillion on buybacks, U.S. executives demand taxpayer-funded bailouts of shareholders. It ain't going to happen. I told you. When, when they go to Congress, pe people can say, no, no more bailouts. That's what we did in 2008. We didn't get to split their earnings when they were doing well, but they want us to bail them out. We have to keep the system going. The system most fraudulent all along. So this is the end game. It feels weird, doesn't it? Doesn't happen exactly how we think. MSNBC legal analyst. Trump must be investigated for negligent homicide and manslaughter. Is devoid of any basis of law. It does, however, play for the, well for those who believe impeachment or prosecution are entirely fluid. Craziness on Trump. Um, I think... For, as far as where we stand, as far as the good guys, 
Uh, my good friend Will Laird called me and said he's getting a lot of people wanting to order cryptos. Yes, call Perpetual Assets. Will Laird at perpetualassets.com if you want to get cryptos over $10,000 worth. Um, he's able to get them and get them in your hands quickly. So call perpetualassets.com. The phone number is at the website, perpetualassets.com. Um, but as far as, because Will texts me, where are you? Where are you? What's going on? People are asking. Um, and what happened to the good guys? Here's what happened to the good guys. They puttered around too much. They they went way too slow on this thing. And now they got thrown a curveball with this coronavirus. Yes, it is the real deal. Don't listen to anybody who says it's not the real deal. Yes, it will destroy the economy. The economy was going to be destroyed anyway. Um, but now everything's up, up, you know, up in the air as far as will the good guys win? Will they not win? We'll be dealing with this coronavirus thing for three years, at least probably five. So why? Because the good guys waited too long to pull the trigger. And gave. And I knew it. I, I said it a million times. Don't give the bad guys all this time or they're going to figure out something to do. And that's what they've done. Now our key is to maintain our freedoms and our liberties. Fight for anything that says you have to be on lockdown. You have to do this or you have to do that by order of the government. That's how they get in. And once these laws get down, put down on the books, you can't get them off the books. So it's all the good guy's fault. They should have pulled the plug. They should have pulled the plug in 1913 before this even got started. They should have allowed gold to be traded freely as it was money back when they found all that gold in the Grand Canyon in 1909. And they've been kicking the can, kicking the can, kicking the can. And they've waited too long, and now the bad guys are going to destroy half of humanity. It sucks. Take as much vitamin C as you can. Chaga mushroom. Chaga mushroom powder and vitamin C. Why isn't anybody saying that in the media? Why aren't the doctors saying it? Why, are, why isn't Trump screaming it from the, from the rooftops? Three grams a day of vitamin C or more and two grams of chaga mushroom powder, vitamin D, and everything else you can think of, zinc, colloidal silver, C60. Now is the time to flood your body with anything that can protect you from what the bad guys have un unleashed on us. Good guys, I don't know. They'll figure something out from here. They're smart, but stupid to wait so long. Stupid. Mark Cuban on virus bailouts. Quote, no more buybacks. Not now, not a year from now, not ever. Fuck the buybacks, no bailouts. These companies are fraudulent. They're built on the back of the workers and they lie, cheat, and steal for profits. And then the senior management walks away with the profits and guys like uh, Bill Gates retire from the board right before all the shit comes down. Yeah, do I think he was involved in the virus creation? Uh, could be. That might be why he... Step down. He might be in Guantanamo. I have no idea. Trump invokes Defense Protection Act in coronavirus response. Deploys FEMA in all regions. Um, that's part of what I was doing. I was trying to get my loved ones in the right place at the right time for any kind of lockdown. We're on pseudo lockdown right now. It's kind of uh, subject to your own interpretation. Now, all the bars and restaurants are closed, which sucks. My family's in that business. Um, yeah, I don't see those opening for a long time. But we're going to have a crash in the banks, too. So the banks aren't going to last the quarter. Or they won't be able to announce earnings because they have none. They're all going to have to be bailed out, which they already are. If you look at the Fed, and I'll get into that later today because I haven't updated the charts recently. But yes, the, like I said before I left, it was uh, the fire hydrant. It's not fire hose. The fire hydrants are open, and they're going to spew money everywhere. Uh, the deeply flawed, immoral, and unlawful house of cards that Ben built. Don't blame Bernanke. Blame them all. Blame Woodrow Wilson for letting the banks scare scare him into creating the Federal Reserve Bank. Blame everybody, because it's all their fault. Blame your monetary leaders, the IMF, the World Bank, all central bankers. They all should have fixed this problem a long time ago. Greenspan especially, because he's the one who invented the thing that delayed this system so long. 
And yes, I do believe he's one of the inventors of Bitcoin. And hopefully the U.S. government has the Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And probably uh, Charlie Lee's Litecoin start up a new system when the old system dies. Bernie Sanders is still fighting. Some good news, commercial paper rate slide, FX basis improves. That's a, that's a click of a mouse. Who gives a shit? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to dig in. It, it's going to take a little while to get back to this. Uh, again, I was off uh, protecting family and friends and getting them in the right place at the right time. Um, and now is the time. If you have a bug out spot, you should be there by now. If you have friends and family, you're worried about their location, um, fix it. Fix it. We have, this is just going to get a lot worse, a lot worse. Not only the virus. Yes, the virus will get a lot worse. Now, all everything they're doing to kind of clamp down little mini quarantines and all that, that's good. The, the rate of expansion is, is going down. The curve they talk about is going down, which is good. So maybe only a few million people will die in the United States instead of five or six million. But the faster they do it, the better off they are. But at the same time, we have another problem is that it's destroying the the phony monetary system that we've been living under for so long. And the derivative market, just think of the derivative market. There is no way out of this except a total destruction of the old system and starting something new. And then now we have to deal with the goddamn coronavirus to go along with all that. And that's the good guy's fault for not pulling the trigger long ago. But now, now it's inevitable. There's nothing they could do. It's over. Checks to Americans on April 6th. The, uh, by the way, stop paying your bank. Stop paying your mortgage. Stop paying all that. The banks aren't going to be around. Um, I know I'm not supposed to say that, but in this case, yeah, I'm going to say it. When you get a check from the U.S. government, first one will be $1,000, second one will probably be $10,000. Don't give it back to the banks. They want you to use it to pay your mortgage and, and your, your bills to the, the banksters. There is no recovering from this. This is the end. So I'm going to get into more stuff later. Uh, that's my first one back. It's good to be back. I'm back in the fight. And um, uh, yeah, it's ugly. I have to get my head around those uh, uh, repo numbers. It will go to infinity. It's already started the upward slant for the moonshot. Uh, and money is, is going to become irrelevant. You're going you're gonna to count your wealth and how many ounces of silver you have, how many ounces of gold you have, and how many cryptos you have in your own possession only. And I hope everybody understands that. Uh, want more info on what the hell I'm talking about? Go to RoadToRuda.com. RoadToRuda.com. www.RoadToRuda.com. And then go and join right here. The free email updates. Free email updates. And a book. Silver, Gold, Bitcoin, and God. And you can find out everything about, I've been talking about this very moment. For 15 years about. Eh, 13 years. This very moment, the end of the old system. And it's all right here, discovering the road to Ruta, how I found out about the Fed documents and who is Ruta and what's Alan Greenspan's connection and Stephen Duvaux and what's his take on all this. And go check it out. Now more than ever, everybody has to understand what Ruta is and that there is a way out. It's just going to be a hell of a lot harder now with this coronavirus thing. And that's solely 100% due to the good guys not pulling the plug earlier. And that means Trump, that means Q, that means the Fed, all the people who are good guys behind the scenes, they should have pulled the plug earlier. We are not shit out of luck, but it's a hell of a lot harder to make this transition with this damn coronavirus thing. Yes, they have to find out who did it and they have to string them up and tell the people all the secrets need to be revealed now because you screwed up to get us this far. This is Bix. Take care.